Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to knit this super chunky cardigan. Please check my description box for all the details. I put some links so you can go there and download my written pattern. Before I start, I have to tell you this. I gave this sweater before I film the opening and ending. So I'm gonna actually tell you the point right now. Number one, I use the technique called tubular cast on and cast off. And this is top down sweater and seamless. It's completely seamless. And this is step by step video. Okay, so please knit your swatch and count stitch count and row count within four inch that's the start okay guys first of all open up my math gauge formula template if you haven't downloaded this very useful template please go to my website and download it and this formula is available until January 2023 because I'm going to close my website not the YouTube okay and this is Excel so I can't really upload anywhere so this is the time to download it anyway and if you don't have it you have to do the uh, little math okay so this is my template as i told you and i am going to input all the information okay this red section is your swatch i'm gonna actually put mine my swatch is four inch by four inch so i'm gonna put four and four and right here okay stitch count and row count my gauge was 10 stitches within 4 inch and 15 rows within 4 inch. This is very important, okay? And let's move on to this section. The top one, it says find out stitch count from the length. So if you want to find out the cast on number from your length, desire length okay this top one you have to input the number okay what is the desire length this is top down sweater so this is gonna be your desire neck opening okay so i measure myself around my neck a little you know bigger than my actual neck obviously my actual neck is 12 inch so I decide I am going to start with 16 inch. This is, it's up to you, okay? If you want to get bigger, but bigger number. If you want to, you know, tight, you know, around your neck, make it smaller. That's it, okay? So 16 inch to start, okay? And this is the yellow section, go down. Yellow section, 40. So if you want to, um, start 16 inch you need to have at least 40 stitch count however let's go down go down go down and this pink section multiple of whatever number right so I want you to pick the number multiple of 12 so I want you to put the a number here 12 here and enter there you go those are the number multiple of 12 and my number was 40 so either 36 or 48 to close your target number and I am going to use this 48 this is my cast on number okay this is quite useful formula okay so 
Let's move on to actual knitting. My cast on number is 48. All right. Okay, so let's start tubular cast on. Before I start, I want you to remember the rules. Rule number one, odd number of stitch should be knit stitch and start with thumb and end with thumb. Rule number two, even number of stitch should be purl and start with digital finger and end with digital finger. Okay, and the ball of yarn away from you and end tail close to you. And hold the yarn like that. Then put the needle on top of it. And the first stitch, which is odd number, start with thumb and end with thumb. So just around. Okay, this is the first stitch, insecure. Okay, and number two even number okay start with digital okay go around and coming into the middle and then going to thumb but coming back to digital this is pearl stitch even number okay number three odd number start with thumb coming back up from the middle and going towards the digital, but coming back to thumb. Okay, that's pearl on the wrong side and knit on right side. And you just have to repeat, okay? This is fourth stitch. That's going to be even number, right? So start with digital and end with digital. Go around, coming back from the bottom and up, then going to digital okay and thumb up digital but back to thumb that's knit stitch you know what i'm saying so you just have to repeat digital up thumb and go back to digital okay start with thumb and coming back thumb start with digital and coming back to digital so if you get confused you just have to count or you know um you have to look at the uh, the previous stitch you know which is knit or pro okay and again i have to do 48 which means start with knit and end with pearl. Okay? So, next stitch should be knit. So, start with thumb and end with thumb. Digital coming back to digital. That's it. Okay? And when you finish, okay, the first one and last one is not secure. So, you kind of have to wrap the uh, end tail like that. So it's secure. Okay. And I'm going to work in flat. Okay. So make sure it's secure and which one is, you know, attached to a ball of yarn. Okay. Don't start with the, uh, you know, end tail. And now you have to start. The first KBL, which is knit back loop. And next, the pearl stitch, right? Yarn front and slip one pearl wise. Okay, and yarn back, KBL, knit back loop, and yarn front and slip one stitch pearl wise. You have to repeat with some black at. So repeat of KBL and then yarn front and slip one pearl wise. You know, this is pearl, so I don't really have to tell you yarn front, but I just want to make sure, you know, 
There you go. That, that's it. And you probably think, okay, this is not two by two, tubular. I know that this is one by one, but don't worry about it. And anyway, the last stitch, okay, you gotta be very careful. Okay, last stitch should be purl one. Okay, so this is slip one purl and KBL and slip one purl KBL and next one is last stitch so make it purl there you go and still this is you know one by one ribbon okay and row number two okay actually same pretty much but just you know knit one instead of kbl knit back loop okay knit repeat of knit one and yarn front and slip one purl wise okay and there you go knit one easy and the last two stitch should be knit one and purl one so what i'm doing right now is pretty much preparation for two by two tubular next row row number three i will rearrange from one by one ribbon to two by two ribbon okay i'm gonna rearrange the uh, stitches okay and one by one is knit one and purl one two by two is knit two and purl two so you have to rearrange the stitch and i will show you how to do it okay so i just finished the row number two so again i'm telling you right now one by one ribbon which is knit one and purl one and now i'm going to make it two by two which is knit two and purl two so first stitch is knit so knit one and next stitch is purl obviously so i'm gonna switch the next two stitch and this is how you do it yarn back and slip two stitch knit wise like that okay so now the knit stitch come front right so take those two stitch back onto left needle and those two are twisted now okay so the next stitch should be knit but you have to knit back loop because it's twisted so knit back loop so now knit two and next is purl twisted so yarn front and from back and back loop like that okay back and back loop and this is purl back loop okay so knit two and purl one and next stitch is purl so you just have to make a purl regular purl because it's not twisted okay so now i rearrange and next is knit stitch so i knit one and again i have to rearrange the stitch so yarn back slip two stitch knit wise there you go and then take those two back onto left needle and those two stitch are twisted so the first one knit back loop and next is purl and purl back loop and from the back it's easy because it's twisted so don't worry about it and next is finish with purl so knit to purl two. and i gotta do more okay it's beautifully you know 
rearranged so far knit one yarn back slip two stitch knit wise and put the two stitch back in onto left needle and knit back loop and purl back loop then end with one more purl but see knit two and purl two and and this is not the twist just a normal purl so purl one and you just have to repeat knit one yarn back slip two stitch knit wise transfer those stitch back onto left needle and then kbl because it's twisted and pbl because it's twisted and then purl one there you go easy this is it okay so you know some people think um two by two you know uh, tubular cast is quite difficult but it's not okay so there you go pbl and pearl one and this tubular cast it's not raw edge anymore it's kind of well tubular so it's kind of two type of the edge so it's not raw edge it's it's really nice you know um texture there we go so now kbl and pbl there we go so not much to say anymore you know it's too easy okay and i choose you know um two by two tubular um because it's more complicated you know the people think you know there's one by one tubular too but that's quite easy anyway so let's finish and after this you just have to uh, keep two by two ribbon that's it okay so pbl i just want to you know show you one row so you know people understand if this is your first time okay so transfer those two stitch back onto left needle and then kbl and pbl because those those two stitches are um twisted you know some people just do you know switch the twist you can do that too you know um if that's easier for you but sometimes you know you drop the uh, stitch off and all that so this is quite easy for me okay so this is end of the row now two by two ribbon and there's no row edge okay so after this as i told you before keep two by two ribbon until your desire length it wasn't that hard wasn't it but if you don't like this tubular cast on don't do it just a regular cast on is fine all right you know i just want to show you some you know different technique every once in a while all right so just keep knitting your rib knit over knit pro over pro stitch until your desire length okay and i knitted it about three inch that's enough and i change the needle to nine millimeter from eight and now you have to decide which side is your right side or wrong side okay 
it doesn't really matter. But next row is my wrong side. So I have to kind of, you know, use that, you know, entail to decide. Anyway, so now divide it by five parts. Okay, two front like that. Okay, and two sleeves and rest should be my back part. And this is how you divide it. Whole stitch divided by 6. My number is 48 to start. So 48 divided by 6 is 8 stitch. This 8 stitch is my base number. And front and sleeve, 8 stitches each. And back piece is base number times 2. So 16 stitches. That's how you divide it. All right. However, I want you to wait because you have to consider for your front because I'm going to add some button rib later. Right. So this is the time you can adjust the number only if you want. And I decide to change front piece less. So from eight to six stitches each. And sleeve as is, eight stitch. And when I subtract two stitch each side, okay, add in back piece. Okay, so my number is front six each, sleeve eight stitch each and back piece 20 stitches each that's how i divide it and add markers okay this is actually temporary marker and then when i do prep row which is pearl all pearl because wrong side i am going to add regular round um markers because this temporary marker is too small. Anyway, so it's up to you, but this is the best uh, to divide. And you can adjust the numbers a little bit if you need to. All right? So let's do the preparation row. Again, this is my wrong side. So all pearl. And add in the uh, you know my regular markers if you don't have you know big enough marker use you know yarn thread or something okay there you go so all preparation row all pearl and this is my wrong side okay and this markers are raglan marker okay around that Raglan marker, I am going to increase right side and left side. Total of eight stitch, I'm going to increase. So, increasing row number one. Knit until last one stitch before the marker. Okay, here comes one stitch. Okay, and then... I'm going to increase with make one right. Okay, because it's right side of the uh, marker. And right stitch from the uh, previous row. Hook onto left needle and then knit front loop. This is make one right. Then knit original, slide the marker. Now, left side of the marker, so I am going to do make one left with previous left stitch. But you can't pick the previous, so you have to knit one stitch right after the marker. Then you will pick up the previous, which is two stitch down now because I just knit one new stitch so left side of the previous stitch pick up then knit this is make one left i'll show you one more time don't worry 
So let's do make one right again. Okay. Previous stitch. So stitch below and right side of the uh, stitch. That's the one. Okay. Pick that stitch, hook onto left needle like that, and then knit front loop. This is make one right. Okay. Then knit the original the last stitch before the marker and slide the marker and again make one left I can pick left stitch okay so left side you have to knit original first okay and then remember just the one below is you just knit so one more below okay that one left side of the uh, previous stitch pick up okay and then knit back loop this is make one left so you have to increase every round one line right and left total of eight stitches and increase in row number two or pearl and you just repeat row number one and row number two until your desired length and right here this is optional i want to you know tell you one thing i add one garter stitch row which is knitting wrong side only one row because i just want to add a little texture okay and this is optional, so you don't have to do it. But if you want to add garter row with this thickness of yarn, you should add only one row. So one neat row on wrong side. But before and after the marker, you should use pearl. Okay, because you don't want to ruin the uh, increasing. So, knit on wrong side, but one stitch before and after the marker, you should do purl. That's all you have to remember. And I knitted it total of 26 rows. Okay, which means increasing row is only row number one so I increase 13 times and this is long enough reach under my armpit seven inch from the uh, the bottom of my neck rib and big enough for my arm you really have to you know make sure about that also you know for your body without the uh, the sleeve that should be big enough as well because now i am going to separate the sleeve from the body okay and you have to do this after increasing row number two okay so knit until the first rung one marker there you go knit until the marker remove the marker and with the uh, scrap yarn you transfer all the sleeve stitches okay onto scrap yarn obviously you should use different color so later it's much easier to you know transfer those stitches back onto needle okay so now i am going to separate the sleeves from the body part okay and you have to do this you know whenever the body part is big enough and this has to be you know under armpit and big enough for your arm okay so transfer sleeve stitch which is until next second marker because that part is your sleeve okay so tie the knot 
loosely. So if you want, you can try that on. Okay. So don't use with the uh, stitch holder, you know. And now I am going to connect front and back with new cast. I'm adding four stitches, okay, which is one to two inch worth. So I add four, okay, and then start knitting back piece until the other side of the sleeve and you do exactly same thing and one more thing if the total stitch for the body uh, stitch count should be multiple of four so you can adjust how many you know uh, new cast you want to add try to make it multiple of four okay and now there we go that's two sleeves I separated, okay? And the rest of stitches on the, uh, the needle is front piece and back piece. Now you connect. And no more increasing after this, okay? So it's super easy. Stock net stitch, which is pearl on wrong side and knit on right side. That's it until you're desire one so i kept adding the uh, the garter stitch every 10th row and this is done long enough so i am going to add rib which is repeater of knit two and pearl two i'm starting with the uh, wrong side it doesn't really matter either wrong side or knit uh, right side you just have to start with knit two and purl two, okay? And it has to be multiple of four, so either side, same result, okay? And I am going to knit about three inches. And I'm adding tubular cast off this time. So. The body part, I use 9 millimeter. The rib, 8 millimeter. Now, tubular cast off, I use 6 millimeter. Two size down needle because it's going to be a little bulky this time. Okay? So now I am rearranged the stitch from 2 by 2 ribbon to 1 by 1. Okay? Pretty much same method. Okay? So right now, I have knit two and purl two. Knit two, purl two, obviously, because that's what I just did. So now I'm going to rearrange the stitches, which is knit first one. And I want purl stitch instead of knit. So let's do the rearrange. You can do yarn front and knit two stitch slip okay yarn front and slide two stitch knit wise now slip those two stitch back onto left needle now next st stitch will be purl so pbl purl back loop okay and then next stitch is knit so knit back loop kbl pretty much same as you know cast on and then next pro so now i have knit one pro one knit one and pro one then knit and yarn front slide two stitch knit wise then right after that transfer those two stitch back onto left needle and the stitches twisted so pbl and kbl then next stitch is purl that's about it this is rearrange the stitches from two by two to one by one ribbon same as, you know, cast on.
So super easy. Okay. And let's do a little bit more to make sure you understand this part. And after this, you can actually cast off. However, I am not going to. Because for the body part, I want a little bit thicker, you know, the edge, but not, you know, bulky. So the method is same as, you know, the sleeve tubular cast off, but uh, I'm going to add a little bit more roll. So just to make sure. Okay, so rearrange the uh, stitch until the end. Okay, if the uh, the the stitch count is multiple of four, you can end with knit one and purl one. Okay, there we go. It's done. And now I'm on right side, okay? And as I told you again, I'm going to add a little bit more um, rows, which is super easy. Knit one, repeat of knit one, and yarn front, and slip one purl. That's it. Okay, you just have to repeat until last two stitch, and last two stitch will be knit one and purl one. And I did total of four. Finish on wrong side, and two really cast off, uh, take a place on right side. So, you know, uh, you can actually add three more rows if, you know, you started with right side or whatever. Okay, so it's really up to you. Okay, now tubular cast off with tapestry needle. The rule, set up with first two stitch, cast off, same stitch, preparation, opposite stitch. That's what you have to remember. Set up with first two stitch. Okay, set up means preparation so opposite stitch okay so kind of knit back loop you know put the needle back loop and pull okay don't take the stitch off okay and next stitch is purl okay so I have to do knit okay so put the needle back in from the back pull that tapestry needle okay I just want to make sure setup is preparation so opposite stitch and knit stitch into second pro stitch okay this is setup I just did setup first two now I am going to cast off okay which is the first stitch is knit and I want to cast off the first stitch. So I have to knit, then cast off. Okay, cast off, same stitch. And you can't cast unless it's the preparation has done. Okay, but first two stitch, okay, I already did the prep setup. Okay, so knit the first one with tapestry needle like that and then cast off and after I cast off first stitch I can't cast second stitch off I have to do preparation okay so which means the second stitch I haven't done preparation so that's knit stitch so purl on knit stitch Now, the first purl stitch, I can cast off. The preparation has already done. That was the second stitch, right, for the setup. So 
This is purl stitch. So I am going to purl, same stitch to cast off. So purl, then cast off. Okay, let's see, cast off. And soon as you cast off, you have to do preparation, which is always second stitch, right? And that second stitch should be purl. So setup is always opposite stitch. So knit on purl. So this is how you remember. Okay, so now the first stitch is knit. Okay, so I have to knit to cast off. So knit to cast off. There you go. I already did cast off. And I have to prepare next knit stitch. That one. But opposite stitch, so purl on next knit stitch. It's a little bit confusing, but soon as you do slowly and you, you know, understand what I'm saying, it, it's super easy. Okay? And then now purl stitch out front. So purl on purl stitch to cast off. Right? And as soon as you cast off purl stitch, you have to prepare next purl stitch, which means knit over purl to do the prep. Okay? If you don't understand, go back and watch the video on and on. Okay? So, again, same stitch, knit over knit stitch to cast off. Preparation is opposite stitch. So purl on knit. There you go. And can you see the working yarn on top of the, uh, you know, um, the stitches on front? So it's going to be kind of round edge, not the raw edge. You probably understand what I'm talking about when you're doing, you know, your tubular cast off. Okay? So the first stitch you have to cast off. And when you cast off, you have to do, you know, purl over purl or knit over knit. Okay, but preparation is opposite. There we go. So you just have to do this until the end. Okay. There we go. I'm cheating, you know, because I'm getting tired of pulling all the long, you know. Uh, yarn so just do whatever you have to do there we go it's done and can you see the the edge is rounded and no raw edge and little you know puffy thick and I did the, uh, you know, the one sleeve already. And I'm going to actually tell you how to connect and how to decrease for the uh, sleeves. Okay. So transfer all the sleeve stitch onto needle. Needle should be 9 millimeter, right? Same as body. And I put the one temporary marker right in front of the, uh, you know, uh, last original stitch. Okay. And then now I am going to knit up, you know, in between last and, you know, the first. The first of all, I have to um, knit up the, uh, the above the uh, new cast. Also, two extra 
in between last original and first new cast. And there's the running thread, okay? But I am going to use two stitch somewhere. Pick one and like that. Okay, two stitch on the needle. And then I'm going to connect the new yarn. Um, the reason why I'm doing this because um, when you connect the sleeve, there's always, always gap in between original and new cast. So I am going to knit up two extra uh, stitch in between last original and new cast using that running thread. Okay. And then when you come back, I am going to decrease those two stitch to close the, uh, the gap. So now I did knit up two extra and now right on top of the uh, new cast. I add four new casts when you when I connect front and back. So I am going to knit four up, but in the center of new cast, I add begin marker. Okay, so that was my begin marker, and I add two more, right? However, I am going to add temporary marker right before the last new cast because that was the indication that I have to decrease, okay? And there you go. Two more extra knit up just before the original first stitch. So pick up the, you know, the previous stitch with the running thread. I knit up third and here, right here. There we go. And fourth extra. And next stitch would be original first stitch and knit all the way around until the first temporary marker which is red for me. So just knit, knit, knit until the red stitch, which means indication of last original stitch, right? And now I'm going to do decrease. Do you remember? So with the last original and first extra stitch, I'm going to do SSK, slip, slip, knit. To decrease first extra stitch and next should be second extra and first new cast knit up I'm going to do knit up again to minimize the uh, the big hole you have to add extra stitch and then when you come back you have to decrease with original stitches that makes gap much smaller, okay? And knit, this is my begin marker until the second temporary marker, which is just before the last new cast, okay? And SSK, there you go. The last new cast and third extra, I did SSK. And next, fourth extra and first original stitch, I do knit two together. This is the connection of sleeve. Okay? So now you have to do um, counting, okay? Because um, it's completely uh, connected. I minimize the uh, gap. So now you have to think about the uh, knitting sleeves. And you just have to knit until the, uh, the begin marker. And while you're doing, I want you to count the current stitch count, okay? I need few numbers. Number one, okay, current stitch count. I have 36 stitches. And second, the length you want to knit before the rib. Okay, your desired length from the current, you know, length to 
your goal before the rib. For me, 13 stitches. And number three, the goal stitch count should be multiple of four. You know, I wrap around and count. And my goal stitch count on the wrist is 24 stitches because multiple of four. Okay, so I come back to my math gauge template. Okay, again, if you haven't downloaded this yet, maybe you should because you don't really need to do little crazy math. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to find out uh, how often I have to decrease. Okay, so here is my gauge, right? Four inch by four inch, 10 stitch count with some four inch and 15 row count with some four inch. And this was my desired neck, you know, length, right? So now what I have to do is right here, the pink section, sleeve, current stitch count. Do you remember what I said? I have 36 stitches after connection and sleeve goal stitch count, 24 stitches. You know, I wrap around and 24, multiple of four, cool, right? And right here, stitch, you will decrease on the same row. I'm going to decrease two stitch at a time. Everybody same here. So everybody two here. And one more thing you're missing is the length you want to knit without the rib, right? So I have 13 uh, inches that I want to knit before the rib, okay? And where I am going to uh, put the 13 inches is right here find out stitch count from the length no 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 because the the length this time is row you know what i'm saying how many rows you want to you have to knit to reach 13 stitches uh, no 13 inches right so the second one says find out Row count from the length. I have a length, 13 inches, and I want to know row count. So here, orange, I'm going to say 13. There you go. Orange, 13. Pink, go down. So here, okay, this is my numbers. 4 inch, my swatch, 13 inch, my desired length. And this is my gauge, 15 stitches with some four. So what about 13? 48.75. So to reach 13 inches, I have to knit at least 49, something like that. Okay, so let's go down. Purple, sleeve decrease. How often you will decrease, blah, blah, blah. So here... 48.75. This is the row I have to need to reach 13 inches. And total decrease 12, which is um, 36 current stitch count minus my desired stitch count, which is, which is 24. So the 12 difference. And stitch decrease 2 on the same row. So here, how often I have to decrease 8. Point one. So I have to decrease um, every uh, eighth row. Okay, so knit seven rows without the uh, decreasing. And on the eighth, I have to decrease two stitch. That's how you do it. And if this was like, you know, 7.5, 6.5. You don't know which one, right? So the first decrease should be on 6. And the next decreasing should be 7. 
So six, seven, six, seven, something like that. So it's really up to you because if you decrease only six row, you know, the, the length should be shortened. And if you need seven, every seventh row, the length should be longer than your desired length. So if the if the this number is 6.5, 7.5, you really have to, you know, uh, do carefully to reach your desired length. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, actual knitting. Okay, so back to work. According to math, I have to decrease two stitch on every eighth. And this is my end of seventh row and here comes eighth row okay so soon as um eighth row decreasing row starts i am going to decrease one stitch so knit one and knit two together i decrease one stitch and then knit all the way down to last three stitch and when you have last three stitch, you do SSK, slip slip knit, and then knit one. Because the uh, the the begin marker, the location of the begin marker is center of your armpit, so that's the best place to decrease. Okay, and then after uh, decreasing row, you just knit seven more rows and right on the uh, the eighth row which is 16th row total you know um you have to do decreasing until your desire length there you go i knitted it now i changed the needle to nine millimeter from no eight millimeter from nine and then start rib which is Start with knit two and purl two. That's it. And uh, you just do the uh, two by two ribbon until your desired length. And I am going to show you how to uh, do tubular cast off in round, which is same as in flat. But again, this time, um, Right after knit to purl two, um, I'm gonna rearrange the uh, stitch. Then, right after rearrange, I am going to do tubular cast off. Okay, so it's not so bulky, bulky. Okay, so now you have to change the uh, needle to six millimeter from eight. And actually, I'm going to uh, show you how to rearrange different way. All right. So, but, you know, the, the same pretty much. Okay. Knit one. And then I want to rearrange, right? Because I don't want to have a knit stitch. I want a purl stitch. And, you know, before I just slide two stitch knit wise. But now I want to pick the purl stitch and drop two stitch off, grab the knit stitch with left needle and then switch back. And then purl because it's not twisted and knit front, which is easier. The slide two stitch or just kind of switch Whichever, okay? To me, uh, slides two stitch off is easier. Because this way, um, if you're not sure, you drop the stitch off. So uh, for the little tip, when you switch like this, you kind of hold the bottom of the uh, stitch. So you don't drop the stitch off. Okay? So, and everything else is the same. Okay? Just um, 
keep rearrange the uh, stitches okay so knit okay and then hold the bottom of the uh, knit stitch okay there you go grab it and hold it right there there you go and then grab the uh, knit stitch with the uh, left needle like that quick and then There you go. Whichever. Okay. Uh, pretty much same, you know. Um, I don't know which is easier. Easy, um, easy enough for me to do either way. But uh, I, I guess it's your preference. Okay. This is actually sliding. I don't know, I'm getting tired of uh, the holding the, the stitch or whatever. So, um, again, it's up to you. And now let's do the uh, cast off with tapestry needle. And this is going to be my last, you know, uh, tubular uh, cast off showing. Okay. I'm adding the uh, the bottom rib, but I'm not gonna show you because you probably know by now, right? Okay, so first two stitch I have to set up, prepare, right? And I'm wrapping around. This is how much you need at least to do cast off, maybe around four round the project, and that's how much I need at least. So make sure about it, okay? So with the uh, tapestry needle, first two stitch, let's pre prepare, which is preparing is opposite, right? So the knit stitch and purl stitch, right? First step. So the preparation, I have to do purl on knit stitch and knit on purl stitch. That's the prep. And after preparation, you can actually cast one stitch off and then preparation one stitch. Okay, so even if it's in round, same. Okay, so purl on knit stitch for preparation. But I'm using the, uh, the, the back loop. Either way, you can actually purl front. Okay, and then purl front and knit on purl stitch. Okay, so first two stitch, finish preparation, and now let's do cast off and prep. Okay, cast off, same stitch, so the first stitch should be knit, so knit, then cast off. Okay, knit and cast off. And you have to prep next stitch, which is not the, you know, pearl stitch, that one. Because I already, you know, prep two stitch, right? So, pearl on knit stitch. That's it. There you go. And now you have a purl stitch on a first stitch. So same stitch. So purl, then cast off. Then preparation is opposite. So you have to knit on purl so you have to kind of put the needle from back to you know front first then knit on purl stitch for preparation you know what i'm saying so the working yarn cover on top of the uh, the edge you know what i'm saying this is the reason why you have to kind of pre preparation um, from the back 
come back to front and then knit on the purl stitch. Okay. And now knit the first, then cast off, then purl on knit stitch to prep. Okay. There we go. Cover on top of the edge. Right. There we go. That's what I need. Okay. That covers the uh, on top of row edge. And after this, it's all same until the end. Okay. I don't really have to show you. Okay. But if you're not sure, go back um, to the uh, the the body, you know, to regular cast off. Same technique as you know, in flat, so don't worry about it. And after the last stitch, just weave the ends off. Okay? And always, always uh, ends off inside, which is wrong side. Okay? And now let's finish this sweater. Okay? I already did. Uh, one side of the uh, button front rib and you should do you know uh, the side you want to put the button on okay and then make sure where you want to add you know button because the other side you have to create the uh, button hole according to how many button you want to add right and right in the center you have to add the button hole so you obviously you have to count well because you have to do exactly same you know row count and stitch count and all that and i decide i'm gonna put right on top of the two knitting stitch and total of seven button. Okay, so let's do that. It's easy. The row number one is just knit up. When you knit up, you always have to face to the right side of your project. Okay, then start knitting up. My knitting up technique, knit up four stitch and skip one stitch space. Then knit four stitch up and skip one stitch space. Because for this, you know, project has to be, you know, uh, multiple of four because need to pearl to rip. So that way, you know, I don't really have to worry about recount and all that. And some people probably think why we do skip one stitch space you know why not just knitting up right the whole space uh, because uh, if you knit up every little space you knit up ended up you know uh, too many stitches and if you knit up too many stitches uh, what happened is it's going to be wavy you know, the you don't want to have a wavy, you know, front rib, right? So, because, you know, I'm actually uh, knitting up where there's no stitch, right? So, anyway, so I knit up exactly same as the other side, you know, and now... I'm going to start knitting two by two ribbon, which is repeat off, knit two, and purl two. Or purl two and knit two, whichever. Okay? And um, if you start with the purl two, knit two, uh, when you 
do the uh, uh, tubular cast off, starting with purl, but it doesn't really matter, right? You just have to rearrange the uh, stitch. So you don't really have to worry about anything, okay? So just, you know, need to purl to, and right in the uh, center of uh, the rib, I have to create the uh, buttonhole, okay? So you obviously you have to count and, you know, uh, whenever it's right time, you have to create. And I'm going to use the technique called one row button hole because it's going to be tighter. You know, the two row button hole is the first row bind off and second row um, add new cast. Okay, but it's going to be a little stretchy that way. So uh, in this case, because I'm using the the a thicker yarn, I am going to use one row button hole. Okay, it's easy. All right, and you do exactly, you know, same as mine. I'm gonna uh, bind off those two knitting stitch. Okay, working yarn front and slip first knit stitch. Okay, and put the Working yarn back, okay, then slip one purlwise, the next stitch, okay? Then first knit stitch, which is slip stitch, PSSO, pass the slip stitch over. I just bind first knit stitch off, okay? Then keep the yarn back, slip one purlwise, then PSSO again. So this is second knit stitch I just bind off. That's it. Okay? That's enough. So I bind two stitch off. Then now transfer that stitch back onto left. No more stitch, right? Then turn the work. Okay? And the working yarn, you put the back of needle, okay? Now you have to do cable cast, which is put the right needle into first and second stitch and kind of knit. This is cable cast. Pull back and hook onto left needle. And don't pull the working yarn too hard because you have to put the needle back in. So make sure about that. And then do the same thing, cable cast. This is second cable cast. And you add one more, okay? I bind two off and the cable cast, you add one extra. So this is the third cast. Okay, I add. I have one stitch extra now, but don't worry about it. And the turn the work. Now, right side, you're facing. Keep the working yarn back. Okay, and slip one stitch purlwise. Then PSSO. There we go. I, you know, uh, bind off extra stitch. Then the last stitch transfer back onto left needle. That's it. And I just create the uh, button hole. Okay. And then purl, which I just transfer back. There we go. There we go, that's the buttonhole. I'm gonna show you one more time, okay? Where I add the uh, the temporary marker, that's where I wanna do the, uh, the buttonhole again. So two, and there you go, okay? Yarn front, slip one purl wise, then yarn back. Then repeat starts, okay? Slip one purl wise, and then PSSO, 
and keep the yarn back and slip one purl wise and PSSO. I bind off two stitch off, right? And transfer one stitch back, then turn. And now put the yarn back and cable cast. So I bind off two, so I am going to add three cable cast. Okay. I just did one, and this is second. Take your time. And then third cable cast, because I'm going to bind off one stitch, right? That's why I have to uh, add one more. And after the cable cast, turn the project and keep the yarn back and slip one stitch back onto right needle, then PSSO. So this is the extra stitch that I, you know, just bind off. And transfer one stitch back and then keep knitting whatever you have to, you know, do. That's it. Super easy. Okay, so you have to do this every uh, place where you want to add button. That's why you have to do the rib, the side, you know, you want to add button and make sure and, you know, where you want to get the, uh, the button hole. That's it. And you have to finish the uh, button hole and then do the uh, tubular cast off. Okay. So, um, that's about it. Okay. Um, the tubular cast on and cast off. It's not that difficult. Okay. So, uh, don't worry if you want to, you know, use, uh, this technique for your project. Uh, that's wonderful. You know, it's not going to be raw edge. So, okay. And whenever you finish, just um, weave the ends up. By the way, I'm actually doing weave the ends off, but um, I'm actually kind of wrapping at the bottom of the uh, rib. You know? Because, you know, I just want to try to avoid raw edge. So the top part, same thing. But this is just optional. You don't really have to be so perfect, right? Anyway, uh, this was quick and easy uh, project. It took me about maybe five, six days to finish this project, I guess took more time to edit you know anyway that's all for today I hope you enjoy and learn something okay good luck here with your project and enjoy meeting bye for now